Welcome. Let's look at what are the softwares that we will need for this course. So go to Google, type Java 8 download. Go to this link. On this link, scroll down all the way to Java Development Kit. And in the Java Development Kit, you can basically go to the bottom in here download this exe file for windows if you are running on mac or linux you can download your corresponding file once you have downloaded the exe file just go ahead and double click and follow the normal installation process after that we need a editor for writing our java code so we will use intellij so down type on google intellij download go to this link Go with this community version which is always free. So download this exe for Windows. If you are Mac, go with this. If you are Linux, go with this. After you have downloaded the exe file, just run it as normal installation process that, and it will install the IntelliJ for you. We will also need a tool for testing our API. So on Google type Postman download. Click on this link. And in here you can download postman for windows if you have different operating system you can download them here again install postman and it will be just a straightforward installation then we will have to download maven maven is our build tool so on google type maven download click on that link and then you have to download this zip file once you have downloaded the zip file, extract it and just set it in your environment variable. Like this. Search for environment variable and then you will get this. In the environment variables, you can go and add another environment variable like new and you can set maven. Or what you can also do is in the path, just edit path, add up to the bin folder of your maven extracted zip. And then apply OK. Then we also need git bash for connecting to GitHub. So type on Google git bash download. Go to this link, download this for your Windows and run the exe file and follow the normal installation process. If you are a Mac or Linux user, you can follow this. Finally, we will need a database. We will use an H2 database but also we will need another database so we are going to use MySQL. For that on internet type XAMPP download XAMPP. Go to this first link and then you can go ahead and download this. Once you have downloaded it just follow the normal installation process and you will be good to go. And later on we will see in the course how to use all this software to work together. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you later.